The National Primary Health Care Development Agency has highlighted the critical need for strategic use of resources and the development of human capital as key drivers for advancing health care in the country. Speaking during stakeholders' engagement in Abuja, the executive director of the agency, Muyiwa Aino, opined that the meeting aims to synergize multi-stakeholder approaches to strengthen primary health care delivery accountability and identify roles of non-state actors on the implementation of MPHCDA's strategic vision. Our correspondent Zene Anthony brings us details. Delivering his remarks, the National Primary Health Care Board said progress in health care fields has been relatively slow and urged stakeholders to redouble efforts to accelerate progress while leveraging on past successes. We're not where we need to be in many of the areas, but we are building transparency into what we're doing. We are engaging the civil society, we're engaging the, the, com the communities, and we hope that the media will also be, you know, a, a partner in that in helping us share our our story some 500 or so PhDs already being revitalized um, the states are going to do between three and four thousand more over the next year with resources that are available we already have increases in the in the number of Nigerians accessing basic services so I think we have a work cut out for us so for today of course we are talking as stakeholders on how to support and move primary care agenda forward done high-level stakeholders meeting and it came out clearly that when we are talking about putting health on the political front burner we have to be very, very clear what exactly in health are you putting on political front burner that was what gave rise to the citizen-led health agenda that we actually uh, developed ahead of the 2023 election representatives of the universal health coverage forum the unicef and others emphasized the need to address inequalities in key primary health care outcomes such as high maternal mortality and zero dose children this will ensure holding our teams accountable for result, for results and also accountable for the resources that are interested in their care uh, and so we we need to give power to all stakeholders we need to create that space where every stakeholder will really have that conversation to also harvest that energies that is resident amongst all the stakeholders to forge a common front. And the country has achieved amazing uh, achievements this year. 7.2 million girls were vaccinated against like HPV. But still, we have polio, we have zero dose, no progress in newborn mortality. So we need to be able to put these two things together. So my appeal to you guys today is like, please do a bottom-up approach. I saw like a lot of civil societies here. Please put the communities in the center on your discussion. So it is putting in a lot of efforts to change things for the better. And what we are discussing is how we will support the government, put our hands together and advance UHC in Nigeria. The stakeholders advocated a more resilient partnership between the Universal Healthcare Coverage Forum of Nigeria, the MPHCDA, and civil society organizations to drive the goal of making basic healthcare services accessible to all Nigerians. Ene Anthony, STV News, Abuja.